Hey sis. Where are mom and dad? I don't know. Probably off somewhere fighting again. You know how they are. The, um, the divorce is being finalized at the end of the week, they said. <sighs> did you go and see them or something? I did, yeah. Um, they told me everything. Although, it was really hard for me to talk to them because they can't spend one second in a room together without fighting. <sighs> Maybe it's just for the best, though. Did they take the coat rack out, too? Yeah, they did. Took out everything. It's like we've got no life here anymore. Let's just face it, Cassandra. Our whole childhood is gone. Everything is gone. Even mom and dad's love for each other. Let's just hope that that's the last thing that disappears, okay? I... I can't deal this. I'm, I'm going out. Whoa, Meredith, wait! This is like... The 70th time this week. So what? You can't be avoiding your problems forever, sis. Going out of the house is not gonna make anything go away. It's just, you're gonna come back and everything's still gonna be the same. Yeah, I know that, Cassandra. That's all I've been coming home to for years now. But when I leave the house and I take my mind off of things, it makes me feel better, okay? So just, look, I know you're my sis, but you don't have to look after me all the time, okay? Just please, just... I just need some time alone, all right? Please? <sighs> all right, Meredith, you win. Okay, you can do whatever you want. But just know that I'm really worried about you, okay? You know that, right? I'm really worried. I wish I could say the same for you, but you're not struggling. You're not struggling at all. are fighting again. My sister went and visited them and they're finalizing the divorce at the end of the week and they've sold almost everything that in my house. Now my house is just an empty thing of disappointment. There it is. I'm so sorry. Is there anything I could do to help? Do you have the power to bring me my childhood back? Actually, don't. My life was just as rough then as it is now. The only difference is, is that everything in my house is gone. My parents are gone. It's just everything is empty, Clayton. Everything. Well, what about your sister? Isn't she still living with you? No. She's out, she got a job and she got a car and she's trying to find an apartment. Like, the like, difference between me and her is that she's successful. Like, she knows how to live life. She knows how to be independent and I'm just stuck here. I got no, I've got no clue of what it's like to live on my own, Clayton. I'm pretty much just trapped here. I just don't know what to do. Meredith, I know you're still, we're still very young. I mean, you're not even 18 yet, but maybe it's time to let go of that part of your life. Start a new chapter. 
I mean, everyone else has already gotten out of that dump house you've got. Now it's your turn. Maybe you could... You could come live with me. I've got room, and... I want what's best for you. I don't want you living like that anymore. It's not healthy. I just... I just want you to be happy. You are the only thing left in this world that makes me happy. If it wasn't for you, I would have lost my mind by now. Promise me that you'll never leave me, please. Just promise me you'll never leave me because you're all I've got left. I hope in this life, please, please. I'll never leave you. I'm always here for you. <laughs> oh my god, Meredith, where have you been? Cassandra? What's wrong? I was just about to go looking for you. I got worried about you. You've been gone for hours. Where have you been, Meredith? Cassandra, I'm fine, alright? You don't need to know where I am all the time. Just trust me, okay? No, Meredith. I do need to know where you are at all times. Okay, I can't trust you. And it's super hard for me to trust you. Now that mom and dad are separated and moved out of the house, I'm the one that has to look after you. You're the one that's taking all of this the hardest. Meredith, you are sad, and when you're sad, you do crazy things. You leave the house for hours. You don't tell anyone where you are, what you're doing. You could be stealing things for all I know. All right, just... <sighs> Meredith, look, I'm not taking any of this well either, all right? I'm just as stressed out as you are. Adapting to it better. But that doesn't make it doesn't make it okay. Doesn't mean I'm okay with any of it. I hate all of this. Okay, I hate that mom and dad can't get along. Like a regular family. We all can't get along like a normal family. We all have to live like this, but it's just the way it is. And you have to learn to live with it. So please just stop leaving the house and going to suspicious places okay i already have to worry about mom and dad i don't want to worry about you too please meredith <sighs> With Clayton the whole time, everything was okay, but I promise next time I'll tell you, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Meredith, how come you are the only person that knows about this Clayton guy? I mean, I've never met him. Mom or dad never met him. Why is that? Well, first of all, you guys are never around anymore. And I've never let him over here. This household, this family, all of this whole place just holds so many bad memories that I don't want Clayton getting involved with. I don't want him meeting you or mom or dad. I don't want him involved with anything this family has to offer. And so I've kept him away from all that. Why? Why would you do that? What? Because I'm a good girlfriend? I mean, what kind of question is that? Cassandra, you have got to stop being so overprotective of me. If you can't trust me, then what makes you think that I could trust you? Huh? I don't know. Maybe you can't trust me. And if you choose not to, that's, that's fine by me. Where are you going? I'm going to see mom. I'm going to get as far away from here as possible. 
And if you were smart enough, you would come with me. No. No, I'm not going to see mom or dad. After what they did to us, after what they did to this family, I don't ever want to see them again. Well, fine then. Then I guess you could stay here all alone. No, Cassandra, I don't like being alone, especially not in this house. So what? Does that mean you're gonna come back with me and go see mom? No, I'm gonna go live with Clayton. He's got room. Wait, what? You heard me. Meredith! Meredith, stop! You're making a really big mistake! Meredith isn't safe!